Hi, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, we are going to take a look at the Sheer Perfection Designer Vellum Stack. This is a limited release available only right now during March 2015 with a $50 purchase through Stampin' Up! The pack is 6x6 six six and includes 24 sheets with all kinds of amazing designs which I'm going to show you in the 16 samples that I have here. I also want to give you a few tips for adhering vellum and a couple of ideas of what you can do to this vellum. It's got a real pretty gray on um, the white vellum tone so it's got lots of possibilities. So let's take a look and get started. So for this sample here I simply chose to use my markers on the back. And all you're going to do, if you look at your paper, and it's going to be really hard to see in the, in the video, but one side has kind of a milky appearance to it, and on one side you will have a deeper, darker gray. And so on the back side, and you could also color on the front if you want. When you color on the front, it's going to be much more vibrant. And you're just going to take your markers and color, just like that. And nothing hard about it, nothing easy. It's dry right away. And it gives it a very soft, some people will call it a stained glass look. You could also color directly on the front if you want your image and your color to be a little bit more brighter and vibrant. And again, it's dry right away. You can also use your blend abilities. If you have the Stampin' Up! alcohol-based markers or any alcohol-based markers, you can also color on them with those. So coloring is one of the options that you have, and there's a sample. And here, to adhere this one, where the adhesive is, is it's hidden behind this black square of paper. The ends are not secure down, but they lay nice and flat, and so one way to adhere your vellum is to simply hide the adhesive under another piece that's layered onto it. Here's another one that we colored. Lots and lots of different colors on that. We actually cut out one of the butterflies, gave it a little bit of depth, and again, the adhesive for this one is hidden underneath where anything is layered. So underneath the verse and underneath the doily is where the adhesives are layered. And it's not an issue with the pieces coming up. So that's an option for you. Something else fun to do with the vellum is to do something called dry embossing. And what you need for that is you need a stylus tool and you need a paper piercing mat or a piece of foam mat that you're going to work with. And you're going to take your vellum and take the either one of the tips, it depends on how wide of a look that you want, and you're just going to gently press. And what that does is it just dry embosses, it raises it on the other side. I'll just do a couple more here. It gives it this white on white look and it is raised. You want to be careful to be gentle because it is easy to press too hard and to press the whole way through. And so all you're doing is just rubbing over it. And so you're just dry embossing it. And that's creating another great look. And here the white of the flowers was indeed done with dry embossing. And once again, the adhesive to hold this vellum piece on is hidden behind the pieces that are layered onto it. Another fun idea for the vellum is to strictly just add glitter to it. So another way to make it look different is to add glitter. And here I actually stapled the vellum on using my favorite tool, the mini stapler from Stampin' Up. And for the glitter, it's just simply our two-way glue. You're just going to wipe it on where you want it to be, sprinkle your dazzling diamonds, and shake it off. So simply adding glitter is another way to alter that look. For this project here, what I did was I simply took, and let's get some of this off to the side, a brayer. So just as you would with regular ink, and let's move some of this off to the side. You're just going to take your brayer and ink it up, and you're just going to run it over your vellum. And the color of the ink and the number of times you go over it is what's going to alter the color and it might be a little hard to see here but it's also what I did on this card right here so this one was brayered with our strawberry slush this was brayered with soft suede for this one here I just cut the vellum into strips and again used the mini stapler for this project here the vellum is the adhesive is hidden up underneath the black piece and you can emboss right on the vellum just heat real gently so that the vellum doesn't buckle on you. So just heat slow and gently and you'll have that. For this sweet Easter card, again, we just used our markers to color right on it. 
For this fun one, I used our spritzers, and I can see I don't have it on our place, but Stampin' Up! sells little spritzer bottles that are empty, and you simply add 8 to 20 drops of reinkers, some rubbing alcohol, and I just spritzed it and let it dry. But to get this one then to stick, especially because it was a little bubbly, is I used one of another one of my favorite adhesives besides the Fast Fuse. I used our self-adhesive sheets. And I always, there we go. These are just like a Xyron sheet, and you're able to take and lay your piece down on it. And when you lift it up, you will have adhesive on that piece. And then that was what allowed me to stick that. So our self-adhesive sheets can be a great way to adhere your vellum. And again, I just used our spritzers and our reinkers, let it dry, kind of created a fun tie-dye effect. Something else fun to do, I hope you can see this, is to use the vellum to create a window. This is the inside of the card, and what I did was I used our circle framelits to cut a circle, and I used the circle framelits again to create the white ring front and back to hide it, and there I've got a fun um, window. Also, I used the vellum to create a shadow here on the thanks. I cut the vellum and the white cardstock together at the same time, and when I adhered it down, I simply just offset it. So the vellum makes a great window for things to peek through. For this one, the background is actually our washi paper, so that's kind of a fun background. It kind of creates the same light and airy look as the vellum. I used our vellum, so you can punch the vellum, you can die cut the vellum, and here I just wrapped a few pieces around the package. And of course with these it's easy because the adhesive is on the back of the square and so you don't have to worry about hiding your adhesive on that project. For this one we simply only chose to color one and I colored right on the front and added lots of glitter to the card. And again, a little bit of glue dots hidden in some of the gray areas and it worked out great. This one, you can probably already guess, we hid the adhesive underneath the flowers. Just makes a nice little background piece. You can totally alter the color of this depending on whether you pop it up on white, whether you put it against black or pink or red. So another way to change this vellum is simply to layer it onto different colors of cardstock. For this one, we embossed directly on it again, and this is a little gift pouch and there's your gift card that's in there. And what's nice is this envelope fits in a standard A2 envelope, and so I can go ahead and quickly and easily mail it. But it does die cut very nicely, and there's a little bit of our snail adhesive, but it's not very obvious. It just, I like the snail adhesive, you don't really see it. And so there's our cute little gift bag with our gift card. Well, we'll just put it over there. For this one, I used our Project Life Framelits to create a window, and again, just that shadow underneath creating um, a, like a little peekaboo kind of effect. Very simple, straightforward card underneath here. This one is another one, again, that we just colored, and this one I chose to color on the back, keeping the colors very muted, and then just kind of brought the colors out with coordinating um, cardstock leaves. And then for our last one, it seems like we're always doing cute favors for the brides and things like that, so I thought it would be fun to do a manly favor. And so I created our little Mr. Groom Hershey candy bar treat. And the way that I did this is I simply just took our six by um, six piece of cardstock. Thankfully, it's perfectly sized for a Hershey candy bar. Folded it into the middle. Kind of figured out about how deep I want my lapels to be. Just like that. And I just kind of used my finger and there you go. There was my little tuxedo chocolate bar. But doesn't he look dapper with his vellum wrapped around him? So 16 fun ideas for you. Some ideas for adhering your vellum. And again, remember that this is a free selection with a $50 purchase during March only. And I will have close-ups of all of these on my blog and on my Facebook page. And links are in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and God bless.